This is the new policy document launched by the Central Bank of Nigeria. This policy document seeks to ensure that more Nigerians have access to financial services. In attendance are over 50 speakers from four continents and over 4,000 delegates from over 80 countries across the globe. Speakers after speakers take turn to emphasize the increasing need for financial inclusion, especially for women, youth, and rural dwellers. For the Central Bank of Nigeria, financial inclusion will help to grow the economy and improve development. As of 2008, 52.2% of Nigerian adults were financially excluded. This implied that one out of every two adults had no access to financial services in Nigeria. Even though Nigeria had a sizable number of banked population, our financial inclusion rate was one of the lowest in the sub-region. And more worrisome was the fact that many adults were financially excluded. Youths aged between 18 and 35 and our micro, small, and medium enterprises that employed over 60% of Nigerians were disproportionately excluded from access to financial products and services. The CBN Deputy Governor says with a reviewed document, areas with gaps have been improved on to ensure more affordable financial services for all Nigerians, including loans for small and medium enterprises. It, it's an ambitious target, and we think that Putting out an ambitious target would encourage, galvanize, and inspire people to the high-level thinking that is required to make this happen. I think this country has everything it needs to achieve that target. And I think data protection considerations have become more prominent because as we use more technology, digital technology, you are leaving a footprint. And we are ensuring and promoting, ensuring that first of all, all operators meet the data protection regulation. Of course, we are pushing to ensure that there's legislation that does that. We're also, in, um, we're also informing and educating the general public about protecting their data, about their rights. You know, um, it's something that we need to really work on to ensure that people do not um, fear digital financial services because of the potential loss you know, of their data or the potential compromise of their data. President Muhammad Buhari says there has been an increase in the number of agent banking locations in the country from 86,000 to over 1.4 million and more will be achieved. We also initiated policies for microinsurance and collective investment. These initiatives are geared towards providing access to a wide range of financial products and services to the underserved in line with our national financial inclusion objective. This administration understands that it will require innovative models to fast track the attainment of its growth plans. This conference is coming at a very crucial time when Nigeria's poverty index is on the rise. With the launching of this new policy document, which is aimed at increasing the number of people that have access to finance, Nigerians hope to see a more pragmatic action at reducing poverty in the country. Punarman Benjamin, Arise News.